Hey guys, I'm Uzair from the NerdMag and you are watching TCLC8 Review. I hope all of you are safe and sound and away from the corona and living a good quarantine life. Whenever someone wants to buy a new TV, they always ask the same questions. How is the display, sound, design and what's the price? Let's start with the TV itself. C8 is 4K Ultra HD Android powered smart TV which offers HDR10, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, surround sound and Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth support. If you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button below and don't forget to like the video later. C8 comes in two different sizes, 65 inches and 55 inches. The one I am using right now is 55 inches. Both the models are identical and the only difference between them is the price and size. Rest is totally same. 65 inches cost around 1,85,900 rupees and 55 inches cost around 1,27,900 rupees. You can order any one of them from the TCL's website which I have linked below. I have been using this TV for 2 weeks now. See it was released 2 months ago but due to some personal issues I was not able to do the review earlier. If we talk about the design of C8, the frame of TV is made of steel while the back is made of plastic as you can see over here. C8 looks absolutely amazing with very thin bezels and you can barely notice them while watching the TV or playing video games. Overall C8 is very beautiful TV with a very slick design and a very slim form factor. On the bottom of C8 we have the Onkyo soundbar and trust me it's enough to make up for the last year P8's bad sound quality. On the back we have the usual I.O. ports, power button and mic switch. It's really good that TCL has provided a dedicated mic switch so if you are concerned about your privacy you can manually switch off the mic from the back of C8. C8 display is really good and bright. It's a 4K 60Hz panel which supports all the latest display technologies such as HDR10, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, Micro Dimming, WCG and MEMC to enhance the viewing experience. You can easily use this TV in direct sunlight as well because display panel is very bright and it can get bright up to 1200 nits when watching an HDR content. As told earlier, the TV also supports Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. C8 is good at both thanks to the dedicated soundbar and that huge 55 inches or 65 inches sharp and crisp OLED panel. It also supports micro dimming which helps bringing out details at a greater level. You can also do 4K 60fps gaming on TCL C8. As C8 have HDR10 Plus and Dolby Vision along with Dolby Atmos support, playing games on this huge screen is pretty fun. Considering the price point of C8, I'm very impressed from the performance of this TV while doing gaming. If you are considering C8 for gaming purposes, there is one more thing you need to know. C8 has a dedicated gaming mode when turned on drastically improves response rate of your TV. For example, at first when I plugged my laptop to play some games on C8, gaming was ok but overall display seemed a little bit laggy. But after turning on the game mode that is provided in the settings of this TV, response rate was greatly improved. C8 also supports TCL's own proprietary MEMC technology. MEMC is called Motion Enhanced Motion Control. It basically provides extra frame rates to your normal 24 frames per second content and sometimes it looks very fake. Also keep in mind that you can not entirely disable this MEMC technology on TCL C8. Maybe TCL can provide an option in the future update but right now you have to live with it. Movies and videos are made to watch on 24 frames per second, not on 60 frames per second. So I hope TCL consider this and allows you to turn off the MEMC technology from the settings by providing an update in the near future. C8 has built-in TV modes and whenever you play HDR or Dolby Vision content, the software can recognize it and automatically switches to the respective mode. Moreover, C8 has built-in picture mode and also sound modes which you can see over here. You can manually select between them according to your desires or you can manually configure each display setting and sound setting of C8. There is also an option to turn on the surround sound visualization, it's totally up to you. In my experience, the sound quality 
gets really bad but you can try if you want to use it or not when gaming mode is turned on you cannot switch picture mode also there is no option to turn off dolby vision just like the dolby atmos you can control mem c but cannot turn it off to reduce the smoothness go to the judder reduction settings on the tv and lower the count to zero i'm kind of disappointed by the poorly optimized software it lags even doing simpler tasks such as increasing the volume or switching between apps I hope TCL fixes the issue in the next update. It runs on Android 9, so you can also install supported Android apps and games from Google Play Store. Thanks to C8's built-in Bluetooth, you can connect multiple accessories along with smart remote. You can pair your gaming controller as well and use it to control your TV or play Android games on it. But most of the Android games will not run properly on C8 because of less powerful chip. After all, it's made for watching videos, not playing games. In my experience, controlling the TV via controller is much better than using the smart remote. Again, it's up to the user preference though. Overall video experience on TCL C8 is absolutely amazing thanks to the great TR10 support and addition of Dolby Vision is a major plus. If we talk about the C8 hardware, it has 64-bit mobile processor and a Mali GPU with 2GB of RAM. It runs on Android 9 and has a power consumption of 180W. The hardware is sufficient enough to do the simpler TV task but not powerful enough to run Android games or even some Android apps. If we talk about the connectivity, we have 2.4 GHz and a 5 GHz dual Wi-Fi, Ethernet port, 3 HDMI ports, TV cable port, SPDIF, USB 2.0, headphone jack, and a mic. The selection of I.O. ports is decent enough except that 2.0 USB port. I think TCL should have gone for at least USB 3.0. Also, the software can detect the inputs and allows you to rename them according to your ease, which is a pretty handy feature. C8 has support for 5 GHz Wi-Fi as well as a LAN port which allows you to watch 4K HDR content easily at full speed of your internet connection without any lag. C8 has also support for Google Assistant and it's voice activated. So you can ask Google Assistant to play your favorite movie or favorite TV show on your favorite app or even you can ask it to play songs on Spotify or other supported apps. Google Assistant can search and open apps, web pages and play your favorite content. There is also support for Alexa but I haven't tried it so I cannot comment on it right now. Smart Remote Here is TCL Smart Remote. It's minimalistic and pretty light and has all the bells and whistles that you would expect from a TV Smart Remote. There is one thing bad about the Smart Remote, it does not have any mute button. I don't know what the TCL was thinking. Smart remotes needs to be paired via Bluetooth before using it wirelessly, else you need to point it directly towards the IR blaster on the TV. Concluding the C8 review, in my experience, C8 is a very good smart TV with 4K Ultra HD capabilities and support for Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. The price point at which TCL is offering C8 is also really amazing and I think this TV is really suited for the gamers looking for a better sound quality and a very good TV with very good display properties. That's it for the C8. If you like the video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and also do let me know what do you think about the C8. If you have any questions related to C8 or if you are interested in watching more content about C8, do let me know in the comments below. Thanks.